Uh, Psalms 138. I love this psalm. The Bible says, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Well, I wonder how many of us really came in this morning and praised him with our whole heart. He said, before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, uh, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. We sure have enjoyed the day thus far. Thank you for a good Sunday school hour. Thank you, Lord, for good singing. Thank you for good fellowship. Thank you for the good testimonies. Lord, I felt your presence. Uh, I felt your help and felt your touch. Uh, what a blessing to be in this place today. Uh, Lord, but for thy grace, we'd be out somewhere in the world today uh, being miserable, uh, uh, having no hope. Uh, but this morning, we're able to come into the house of God uh, Hear songs of praise unto God. Uh, Lord, have our spirits filled by the Lord. Uh, Lord, be able to come and not only realize we can enjoy the moments of the day, uh, but know there's a better day coming. Uh, Lord, when all of our sorrows, uh, all of our tears, uh, all of our troubles shall be wiped away, uh, and forever shall we be with the Lord. Uh, what a day that'll be. Uh, Father, I pray for the next few minutes you'd continue to stir in our midst. Uh, I pray you'd speak to hearts. Uh, I pray for those that are low and those that, Lord, are discouraged, uh, those that are troubled. Uh, they'd find a refuge in the Lord this morning. Uh, Father, I pray uh, if there be any amongst us today uh, who are unsaved, they may think they're saved, they may be baptized, uh, they may be a church member, uh, they may be a good person. Uh, they're certainly in church today. Uh, but Lord, uh, 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 their soul has not been saved, has not been washed in the blood. Uh, Lord, I pray today you'd reveal that to them. Uh, and I pray today would be the day of their salvation. Uh, God, I pray you'd revive your church. Uh, I pray that God, uh, uh, you'd sweep through here in such a flood uh, that it'd be sustained. Uh, and Lord, couldn't be quenched or doused. Uh, and Lord, it spread throughout this community uh, and God uh, false churches would be closed uh, bars would be closed uh, uh, the drug dealers would be run out of town uh, and folks would be getting saved in droves uh, and turning over their life to Jesus uh, and we'd see the Lord high and lifted up uh, in our community like never before uh, and God we pray that you'd get all the praise and the preeminence for it uh, now Father help us uh, Use this unworthy vessel, uh, and Father, we'll bless you for it. Uh, for it's in the holy name of the Lord Jesus we ask these things. Amen uh, and amen. Uh, I want to draw your attention to what David is saying in this psalm. Uh, notice his adoration for the Lord. Uh, he said in verse number 1, I will praise thee uh, with my whole heart. Uh, he said, Before the gods uh, will I sing praise unto thee. A uh, lot of pagan worship, a lot of devil worship around him. He said in the midst of all the false gods uh, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to sing praise unto you. I'm going to praise
praise you with my whole heart. Uh, hey, David was a man after God's own heart. Uh, hey, why do you think God had so much mercy, uh, so much grace for David? Because uh, David wasn't afraid to stand and praise the Lord. Uh, he wasn't afraid to hide whose he was. Uh, uh, God help us uh, uh, to learn to praise the Lord, uh, whether we're on the mountain or whether we're in the valley, uh, whether we're in church or whether we're in the world. Uh, uh, the Lord of the world ought to know whose we are uh, and who we love uh, and we ought to let them know we love the Lord Jesus. Uh, we see uh, uh, adoration for the Lord. Uh, uh, notice the authority of the Lord in verse number 2. Uh, 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 he said in the last part of that verse uh, he said for, thy, the, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Now we wouldn't think about blaspheming the Lord's name. But yet we'll ignore His word. And can I say the Lord has magnified His word above His name. If His name is holy and it is, what do you think His word is? Do you realize the first time Jesus was ever spoken for mortal ears to hear it, an angel spoke it? Can I say His Word is holy? Yes. And it's so holy that God said that any that would take or add to, He'd take their name out of the book of life. Mm. I mean, this is precious. Peter said they're precious promises. It's true. It's forever settled in heaven. And my dear friends, when the Word of God is taught and preached, it deserves to be respected, revered, embraced, uh, received, uh, and received with gladness. Uh, mm, God thinks so much of it, He'd rather you cuss Him than deny His Word. He's magnified His Word above all His name. Can I say, notice if you will, the answer from the Lord. Verse number 3, In the day when I cry, thou answerest me. Uh, aren't you glad He answers our prayers? Uh, now, sometimes he don't answer them the way we want. He always answers yes, no, or not now. The yeses we get excited about, the noes we pout about, the not nows we really fret about. Mm. But he does hear and answer prayer. And can I say, a lot of times he answers them a whole lot better than we even asked them. Uh, notice, if you will, the attention toward the Lord. Look uh, in verse number 4. He said, All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing it in the ways of the Lord. Uh, you know why the devil fights the word of God so much? Because even the word of God can change kings' hearts. Hmm? Why do you think they fought King James about printing it? Hmm? Because... Uh, uh, the Word of God in English, my dear friends, is uh, 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 the, the given language that has been taken to all the world. Hmm? Why do you think it's so precious? Because it changes lives. Why do you think the devil fights it so hard? Because it changes lives. Thank God for the Word of God. Hmm? Now listen. Notice the acclaim for the Lord, verse 5. For great is the glory of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. Hmm? I like it when he shows us little of his glory. Because it's great. There ain't nothing like it. Some of the best services we've ever had is because the glory of the Lord was manifested. Hmm? Uh, notice, if you will, uh, 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 the activity from the Lord. Look at verse 7. And though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. You say, preacher, I'm troubled. I've got some problems. You're in a good place to be revived. Hmm? When you're on the, valley, or on the mountaintop, you don't think you need revival. But when you're in the valley, you know you need His touch. Oh, how we need revival. We see the activity from the Lord. Look at the advocate in the Lord. Look what it said in verse 7. Though I'm in, I walk in the midst of the trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Hmm? Uh, aren't you glad we got an advocate with the Lord? His name's Jesus. Uh, he's our mediator between God. He's our advocate. He's the one who stands up for us. Uh, and through his uh, strong and mighty arm, he 
takes care of our enemies. And then we see the achievement by the Lord. Verse number 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. What a blessing. The Lord, he not only endures forever, he perfects that concerning us. Mm, can I say that he forsakes not the work of his own hands? Can I say the Bible said Jesus loved the church and gave himself for it? Let me help you something. The church isn't going down. She's going up. The Lord will never forsake his church. Hmm? People forsake it, but the Lord won't. I'm interested in verse number 6. What a verse this is. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. The proud's far away from him. But look what he says. Though the Lord be high. Can we all agree that the Lord is holy? Can we all agree that he is righteous? Can we all agree that he's the highest of the highest? Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. Now, I believe our dear sister, Miss Noreen, just stood and testified to the glory of God and why in the world he would think of her? And why he would bring her from nowhere to here? And why he would put her over there to minister in the jails to those ladies? Uh, and why, and why uh, uh, she deserved to be in jail? She didn't deserve his forgiveness, and she didn't deserve... Because he hath respect for the lowly. That's why he who is high and lofty loves you and I who are lowly. How to preach on that little thought that he hath respect unto the lowly on this thought. How to preach on he looked my way. Oh, I was a nobody. Uh, I was estranged from him. Uh, I had no hope. Uh, uh, and he who's holy uh, happened to look my way. Uh, he didn't have to look my way. Uh, but he chose to look my way. Uh, he didn't have to look your way. Uh, but he chose to look your way. Uh, I don't know where you were when he found you, but you didn't come to him. He came to you. Uh, hey, Brother Sammy, get out there in the islands. He looked your way. Uh, Brother Ed driving him bus. He looked your way over there at the train station, wherever you was. Uh, Brother Jim, in the midst of your sin in the military, he looked your way. Uh, wherever you was, uh, even if you sitting on a church pew, uh, he looked your way. Uh, uh, can I say he looked my way when I was lost and undone? Uh, I was lost uh, on my way to hell. I deserved to go there. Uh, was a sinner, uh, a sinner by birth, uh, a sinner by nature, uh, sinner by practice. Uh, hey, I was dipped, uh, chained by the uh, uh, power of the devil. Uh, but the Lord uh, looked my way. Uh, and he said, you need a savior. Uh, and he went to Calvary. Uh, and he bled and died. Uh, came to where I was. Uh, said, you're a sinner. Uh, I was on the auction block of sin. Uh, nobody could pay my sin debt. Uh, but the Lord, uh, he said, I'll pay for your sins. Uh, that night I called upon him. Uh, he saved me. Uh, changed me. Uh, broke the chains of sin and the power of the devil. Uh, and I'm saved. Uh, my name's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Uh, I'm a citizen of heaven. Uh, why? Uh, because he looked my way when I was lost uh, and undone. Uh, bless his holy name. Say, why do you get so excited? Because I deserved hell. Uh, but I'm going to heaven uh, because Jesus loved me. Uh, and he died for me. He looked my way when I was lost. Can I say he looked my way when I was low? I know none of you ever have any problems. I know none of you have ever been in a valley. But I've been in some valleys. I've been at some low points. I've been where I, I, the bills were coming due and I didn't know how they was going to get paid. I've been to where my babies were hungry and didn't know how we was going to get groceries. I've been to where I needed gas and didn't know how I was going to put some in the tank. Uh, I've been to where I wondered if he knew where I was. Uh, I've been low, uh, 
But hey, can I say, uh, he looked my way when I was low. Uh, hey, I've always had uh, a means to put gas in a tank. Uh, I didn't know where it was always coming from, Marcy. Uh, but all of a sudden, here he'd come. Uh, somebody would come by my way. Uh, and oh, there'd be gas in the tank. Uh, food in the cupboard. Uh, bills always got paid. Uh, hey, when I was low, uh, he let me know he knew where I was. Uh, and he was for me and not against me. Uh, and he was well able to take care of my way. Could I say he didn't have to look at me when I was low? But he did. He looked my way when I was lost. Looked my way when I was low. Could I say he looked my way when I was lonely? There's been times uh, uh, when I didn't know if I ever had a friend. Uh, been times when I didn't think anybody cared. Uh, been times when I thought, uh, oh, no one even uh, uh, cares for my soul. Uh, only for him to look my way. Uh, he said, cast all your cares on me. Uh, for I care for you. Uh, he didn't call me a servant. Uh, he called me a friend. Uh, and he's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Uh, brother Ron, I've found when everybody else is walking out, uh, he's uh, walking in. Uh, and he's there. Uh, and he's helped me when I've been lonely. My mind goes back to when Jordan was a baby. That way he's going through some hard times in the ministry I remember late at night going in the living room and falling on the couch and just calling on the Lord Brother Sammy is one of them when you run out of words and all you can do is weep yes. Yes. Brother James was burdened down and low and heavy hearted about that time it's just like somebody kicked the door open. And all of a sudden, oh, he walked in. All of a sudden, uh, tears turned to joy. All of a sudden, uh, a heartache turned to help. Uh, all of a sudden, he just let me know he was there. Uh, uh, others might not have cared. Uh, others might not have been there. Uh, Others might have not cared and taken time for me. Uh, but oh, uh, uh, the great God of heaven uh, walked into our living room. Uh, let me know he cares. Uh, he's there. Uh, and oh, when I was lonely, he looked my way. Can I say this? Uh, when I was lifeless, there have been times when I've been so dead spiritually. I'd have to get on a ladder just to scratch the belly of a serpent. You know, I ain't going to do that. But I've been so dead spiritually, I'd walk into church just looking for the final amen. I know none of you have ever done that. You're always on fire for God. Lifeless. And somebody would have a song. And it might not have been helping anybody else. But it was flooding my soul. There's been times I was so dead spiritually. And a man of God would mount the pulpit. And he wouldn't get out half of a verse. And all of a sudden the floodgates from heaven would open. And all of a sudden uh, that which was dead came back alive. Uh, there was a little resurrection going on in my soul. Uh, God did something for me. Uh, oh, there's been times uh, physically when it wasn't looking good. Uh, I don't care who you are. When the doctor says cancer, it ain't good. Uh, uh, but I want to tell you, there's a great physician uh, who looked my way. Uh, hey, when everybody else though, was concerned, uh, he was in control. Uh, I'm glad He is the resurrection and the life. Uh, and He has the final say-so. Uh, and friend, you may be a little dead inside this morning. Uh, but look out, He might just look your way today. Uh, and today might be your day. Uh, and resurrection might happen for you today. Uh, 
Can I say this? There's times when I was lazy. Wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. Wasn't doing anything wicked. And just was lazy. People dying and going to hell, and I was lazy. And he looked my way. Can I say, whenever you feel the Lord doing this, it's time to get back to work. Uh, listen, my dear wife, I don't know that I've ever heard her yell at the kids. All she has to do is look at them. And they know to straighten up. And they're all grown. She, she, she looks at me. And I know to straighten up. I know when I'm behind the, the pulpit and I say something that you all may go, Woo, and you all start looking at her. I know that I don't need to look at her. I'll get it in the truck, but right now I don't need to look at her. And she still don't yell. She just says, I can't believe you said. Uh, and I just say, Preach it. Uh, honey, I was preaching. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> but can I say, there been times I was lazy. Hmm? There's times I like Peter, I just want to go fishing. But just like Peter, he went fishing and others following him. When you're lazy, people follow you in that too. And the Lord looked my way. I'm glad he won't let me stay lazy. Mm. Uh, listen, I'm glad he looked my way. Can I say this? There's been times I was losing. Do you ever feel like you're doing everything right? But instead of going forward, you're going backwards? Huh? There have been times I've been losing. There have been times I've been preaching my heart out, preaching till my lungs are leather, trying to mind God, do everything God said to do. Instead of church growing, we lose people. Yep. There's been times I've tried to earnestly contend for the faith and feel like I'm getting knocked back a few steps. There's been times when I thought that I was doing everything that I was supposed to do, thought I was in the center of the will of God, and instead of the heavens open, it just seemed like everything come against me and I was losing the battle. But then he looked my way. Can I help you with something? Jesus and you are the majority. You don't need anybody else because he never loses a battle. And it looks like every time I'm about ready to go down for the count, all of a sudden he shows up. I remember one time, some of you were here. Uh, you remember there was a little opposition in the church, uh, and we had 13 walk out. Mm -hmm. The next Sunday, 17 first-time visitors walked in, and we've not looked back since. Say, what are you saying, preacher? It looks like you're losing, but then he looks your way. Are you listening? Looks like there's no hope, then he looks your way. Yeah? Looks like you're down for the count, then he looks your way. Yeah? And God settles the score, my dear friends. Huh? Amen. A lot of times I thought, how can the world, can we go on, Lord? And then he looks my way and we just go on. Hmm? Say, so how's that happen? Him. Say, so, yeah, I know it's him, but how's he do it? Him. Yeah, I know it's him, but how does he work everything out? Him. See, he, he doesn't need anything. He's the self-sustaining God. And he's not controlled by time or by space or by elements or by anything else. He's just God. And when he steps in, everything's okay. Look my way when I was losing. And can I say this? He looked my way when I was longing for him. The Bible says, draw nigh to God, and He'll draw nigh to you. Now, let me help you something. If you don't want Him, He's not going to look your way. Because there's too many people that do want Him. But Brother Clint, I've learned this, that if you want Him, and you start longing for Him, He's going to look your way. Huh? 
You, you got them books about holiness, and they tore you up. Guess who looked your way? Uh, he did. He looked your way. Uh, he said, oh, you want a little dose of that? Here you go. Boom. Uh, but if you don't want it, he's not going to look your way. But he says, seek and you shall find. You want him, just start longing for him. Uh, he said, uh, uh, there's no good thing that he'll withhold from you. What's he talking about? Him. Uh, and if you really want him, he'll look your way. Say, so preacher, he won't look my way. I've done this. I've done. It's not based on what you've done. It's based on him. And if you really want him, he'll look your way. Huh? He will. It's all up to us. Do you want him? Just start longing for him. He might not look your way today. Might not look your way. But if you start longing for him, friend, you're going to run right into him. Because hmm? he's going to look your way. Because that's who he is. And though he's high, high and, and, and lofty, he hath respect for the lowly. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. If you're willing to humble yourself and ask him to help you, he'll help you. He'll look your way. He's no respecter of persons. Listen, friend, he loves you more than you know what love is. He's already tasted death for you. He died for you. He was buried and rose again for you. He took your death, he took your hell, and he took your sin when he went to Calvary. And friend, he's for you and not against you. Now whether or not you have him is conditional on whether or not you want him. He's a gentleman. He never forces himself on people, but he invites everybody to have him. And if you long for him, if you want him, all it takes is one step. One step towards him, and he's headed towards you. Huh? Brittany sang that song, How Mercy Come Running, when she didn't think she had forgiveness. Matter of fact, get that cue back up. She's going to sing that for the invitation. Friend, He's looking this way this morning. What do you need? The preacher, I'm low. You're in a good place. Preacher, I'm losing the battle. You're in a good place. Preacher, I've been lazy. You're in a good place. Preacher, I'm lonely. You're in a good place. Preacher, I'm lost. You're in the right place. You don't have to leave here lost. You can get born again today because Jesus wants you to be born again. And he's looking your way right now. That's why deep down inside there's something going on and there's an argument in your head. Your argument's not with me. I can't hear you. Your argument's with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's telling you you're lost and you're trying to convince him you're not. If he's telling you you're lost, you're lost. And he's telling you that because he's looking your way and he wants to save you. And this morning, if you'll come, he'll save you and change your life today and forever. Oh, if he's looking your way, don't turn him away. What a privilege that Jesus would look our way. Let's all stand, Miss Brittany, come. I want her to sing that song again. She's getting ready. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. That you looked our way. You didn't have to look our way. Oh, Lord, we're glad you did. Now, Father, there's folks in here this morning that's hurting. I pray they'd look to you. And, Father, then look their way. That one that's low. That one that's losing. That one that's lazy. That one that's longing. Lord, look their way, but especially that one that's lost. Lord, you're already dealing with them. Help them to come and put their faith in the Lord. Speak to hearts. Bless this invitation. Change people's lives. We'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Did you know that you could receive a daily devotion every morning in your inbox? Head on over to ibcflorence.com and click on Daily Devotions to sign up today. And as always, thanks for listening.